stop your channel surfing, this is the program for you to watch. Hi, I'm Chris Strouth, and once again, it is my pleasure to welcome you to America's fave TV show about music, right? It's called What? Tonight, we have a monster program for you featuring a very monster group, that group being Bone Club, something I think you really enjoy. Also tonight, we have a special extra added feature, Drummer Cam. Ooh, it gives me the tinglys. Now, I also want to give a shout out right now to our very favorite saint of all time, that being St. Paul. And now, here they are, Bone Club. Now, this is on uh, your own record label? Mm hmm. Yep. That's, and that's a lovely uh, painting on the cover. That, uh, now, from what I've read before, that was something you had done? Yep. The rhinoceros? Yep. 
actually. It's something more insightful to say, actually. It's a rhino. It's a blue rhino. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. That's nice. I feel like Merv Griffin all of a sudden. It's, you know, <laughs> now you can see what, uh, when you have a lot of time on your hands, <laughs> what you can do with it. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. So now, this is, uh, this is your uh, first release on your own label? No. Um, no, this is the eighth, eighth, eighth release. Um, but it's the third, and it's the third phone club record. Not including the singles. Not including singles. the singles and the compilation cuts and all of that. So now, uh, when you got this record, you know, uh, you were on a Magio for a while. We, we, we were on a Magio for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and it hurt. <laughs> it, was a, it was a bumpy ride. So we, no, go ahead. No, ah, ah. Anyway, we're sitting here at the Roadside Inn. We're interviewing Chris Strouth, who is uh, the interviewer from the Red Eye Theater and the, the Roadside Inn. Uh, tell us, how long have you been doing this, Chris? Oh, oh, please, please, let's talk about you instead. Well, we find that so boring. Was I supposed to wear something black? You were. Um, no. Okay. Here, I'll just, I'll just see if, if the person at the next table wants a bite. So I didn't have a cold or anything. <laughs> mm. So back to the album. Oh, wait, um, excuse me, man. It's the album. The album. You uh, now you recorded this with a lot of really great people on it. Yeah. Would you care to share that with yeah, us? Yeah, we were uh, the producer. The producers were Noel Golden, who produced April Wine and some other things that I'm not quite as familiar with, and the other producer was Mike Clink, and he produced Guns N' Roses, Megadeth, and. Uh, and, well, and then for mixing, we went to a guy named Dave Jerk. He rocks. Yeah. And who's done the Alice in Chains? Jane's Addiction. Yeah. Did some Her Herbie Hancock and the Rolling Stones. All about themselves. So we're just hoping that some of this credibility uh, rubs off on us. <laughs>
Was a uh, single uh, off Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was in uh, Mighty Ducks 2. Well, it's coming out this spring of '94. Yep. Yeah, that's from. Yeah, Beautiful was the second record that we put out. Again, on the Rocket Sound label that got picked up later by Imago. But that's it's just a big messy story. So yep. nice to say that it's in the movie. Yeah. And but then uh, the first song on this got put onto the Spin Magazine uh, compilation. It's called The Perfect Mix. And then you had a, another one on uh, the Stoli. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was this, another song off of Beautiful called Arrive. So, uh, no, you were in a, in a band before this. You came from, uh, from something, didn't you? Um, yeah, when I was an infant. I've been playing since... <laughs> since uh, ben was doing, six, doing metal before metal was cool, while metal was cool. And only a little bit after metal wasn't cool. Well, you know, MTV came out, and all of a sudden I realized how stupid it was. And then I just, uh, I kind of got out of it. Yeah, kind of retired. Yeah. So, just out of curiosity, any embarrassing photos of you in spandex? <laughs> what do you say? Can you say bandoliers? Psych. Center. 
So now, uh, getting back to like other bands you guys have been in. Now, Dave, you've been in a bunch of bands. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, he's been a whore. But I'm make a... it short here on the plug here, huh? Okay, short on the plug. I guess uh, Rhea Valentine, uh, The Well, Aphid Bloodbath Consort, Exploding Head Trick, Exploding Head Trick. Thank you. New toy, very mm. important. Yeah, those sound like great cocktails, don't they? <laughs> this is where I, I wish I were right now. <laughs> In sunny Alcapulco, Mexico. Having a Mexican <laughs> string bean plate. Some so Mexican so string beans. Hey, Pork with zucchini Delaware. and corn. <laughs> 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 We've all had painful past we'd rather not talk about. I live with pain, okay? We'd like to we'd like Hand to rolls. We'd like to tell you about the diamonds that we have dripping from our fingers and the pools and the cars and the the the, the <laughs> platters of But it Don't just say it, don't never happen. happen. Say it. Hey, where you go, Khrushchev? They said they said that it would all come true. All all the money and the no, but it it's rock and rolling. Well, you're and, young uh, now. Well, I'm not that young, Chris. I'm <laughs> turning 30 next month, and uh, no, I'm just kidding. Oh <laughs> yeah, but you know, it takes a while till you get to the point where you can like sell out for the big money and uh, have your rotation on MTV. Hey man, we've sold out a number of times, and the money never <laughs> comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't you see not to Channel 83. It yeah. did say Channel, Channel 83 is coming out with a Kathy Broughton CD, which is pretty darn good. Channel 83? Yeah, yeah. Um, Ghost Dance Deluxe. That's Ghost Dance Put out a record on Channel 83. Yeah. They were on the show. Viber uh, Champs. Viber Champs. Mm -hmm. Viber Champs, yeah. We're doing a theme for us. My car looks like the Indy Pace car. Yeah. It's got, it's got like, you know, pens oil on the side of it. It's got Barks root beer. Yeah. So we're going independent from now on, and we're 
we're gonna do our own thing and we're gonna rule. But but <laughs> but you know, that's one of the one of the great things about Bone Club though is that like one of the things that you seem to be most highly regarded by. I mean, outside of your your musical skills, is your business. <laughs> well, it's sense. the only thing that. <laughs> but like. A, oh yeah, you read that article too. Yeah. No, actually, I didn't read that article. Oh. But uh, just to, just from what I know, I had like. It's it's yeah. funny when, when you when you start out, it's called survival, and when when you're when you're moving on and, and you're you're doing things on a regular basis, it's called business. I mean, that's the. I, oh that's, yeah. That's a cool thing, I think. And as we eat pizza here at the roadside inn. And, you 
by the clouds of heaven I will sing until they grow. Well, gang, that about wraps it up for this week's episode of What? And don't forget to tune in next time when we got a special video show that I think you're really going to enjoy. Now, I want to give a big round of thanks to our friends at Total Music Systems. You guys are the ginchiest. And also a special thanks to a lot of people you don't get to hear about, namely our crew and volunteers. These guys are the ones who make it possible, and without them, we would be nothing. And finally, a big thanks to Bone Club. You guys were the absolute monstrous. See you next time on What?